it's it's been night. That's that's all I can think about right now. Well, I don't want those notes he gets at number fifty two calling the council on me. Not again, anyhow. I, I took I took the bags out all right. But I but I can see them. They've been emptied over the path, been torn by the gate, you see. Yeah. Can't shift them though. Just just stare at them from from the hallway floor. Doors open, you see. On my side. We're back against the wall. I can, I can see him. I think, I think it's the shock. This voice from inside my head is is nothing really. The the other one's groaning like a bloody sick pup. <laughs> it ain't so much the cut in my leg. They got me right where I was shot in '43. You know. <laughs> Nerve ending's gone from there, you see. It's, it's the one in my shoulder that's causing the gripe. <laughs> that and the, the rattle I took to me head. Cheeky bastards. Never thought I'd think it, but I'm 92 for Christ's sake. <laughs> Pardon me, God. Sorry. <laughs> it's a fine time to speak to the old man upstairs. <laughs> On the floor for the first time, against my choosing anyhow, since our Terry Stag do, actually his wedding. That was a good time. Not like now. Now it's not so good. At least back then Mary could pick me up. She always picked me up, you see. Until the end, of course, then I did the lifting. Every night, up those stairs. Oh, oh. shouldn't move my neck. They're there, though. Carpet, worn from the years. Took her up, and I did. Come rain or shine. <laughs> Tuck her in. Gives her a kiss. Always smell of lavender. <laughs> My Mary. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah, she is. Bless her soul, she she chose this rug and all. Well, she chose every rug, didn't she? <laughs> chose every trinket and daub in truth be known. I can hear them now, in there. Tearing it all apart. Looking for me treasure they are, you see. <laughs> They'll have a long look. Only treasure I have is down St Michael's. Put some lilies there yesterday, I did. <laughs> she likes them, the lilies. She does. Always said they reminded her of a choir singing to heaven. <laughs> I always just thought they were kind of pretty. Like her, I guess. Anyhow, this, this rug will have to go. <laughs> that young lady at the laundrette won't be able to shift this mess. Floorboards under, probably stained and all. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> Mind you, after this it'll all probably go. Terry is a, he's a good lad, but he's been looking to get me out for a while now. Can't blame him. Just looking out for his old man, really. Always has done, you see. Good boy. Yeah. Lad banging in there. I think the TV's been thrown on the floor now. <laughs> How did it smash? Probably not worth out, brokers. I hope someone has heard and rung the old bill. I do think the shock is beginning to drop away. That made me jump a bit. Pain's coming in and I can feel my cheeks with every thud of me heart. 
Odd how your world can change in just a few minutes. Now I think of it though, for them it's probably been a few days. When she asked the time, as I stood by the gate, stick in one hand, bin bag in other, I, I, I thought I knew her. Just, you know, in passing, like. I, I seen her this morning, or uh, it was yesterday, you see. Outside, on the corner by that young couple's house. Thought she was looking for them. Then a, then a couple of fellas joined her. They must be the ones who did me in. The little one had the knife. Big one didn't need it. <laughs> Both had scarves on their faces, though, you see. So I can't be sure, but they, they, they look the sort. Should have been obvious, really. Nice young lady hanging about with a couple of ugly runts. <laughs> Got to be up to no good, haven't they? Anyway, she asked the time and I raised my right arm, that's me, stick hand and all, to check my timepiece and bam, little one comes out of nowhere, jabs me left leg and sticks me in the shoulder, to boot. <laughs> Flings me back down on my garden path, bin bag goes all to pot too. Should have just dropped it really, but I just held on. Up it went, and as I fell, it, it dragged on the spikes on the gate. <laughs> Bloody mess it is now. Bearing all me eating habits to the neighbours. Well, what's left of me eating habits? Tonight I had an avocado. <laughs> Listen to me, an avocado. Oh, ow. Oh, the lads in the regiment will be spinning in their graves. <laughs> oh, don't laugh. Oh. Oh, not even inside, just chest hurts. Well, after that little and backed off, that's when the big one drug me up to the door. Supposed to get me out of sight. Well, that didn't work, did it? You have to shut the door first, bloody idiots. That's when he clobbered me. It could have been a boot, but that bit's quite fuzzy, you know. Here, here he comes now from the front room. The little one's come too, but he's, he's going up the stairs. Keep looking. <laughs> Best of luck. This, this one here, he's, he's got me by the collar now and he's shaking me. <laughs> me head hits the wall. I can feel his spit on my face, so <laughs> he must be shouting something proper. I can't hear him, though. My earring's gone now as well. I don't want to... That was a backhand. <laughs> My bell truly rung then. Oh, blimey. I can feel a warm feeling running from my temple, you see. Oh, he still shouts. Outside, I, I think I'm terrified. In here, I, <laughs> I think I'm safe. They can't get you in here. He pushes me back down on the floor and drives his boot into me gut. Oof. I feel something snap then. Oh. Oh, my chest really hurts now. Mary, she, she, she starts singing to me. <laughs> I can hear that. Such a lovely voice. Like, like, like Vera. I managed to look about while this one takes a moment. She's at the lounge door, glowing white, radiant. But that soon fades. Like everything, you see. It's the woman, she's, she's yelling at him. I, I don't know what, she says. He goes to the kitchen, you see. And she won't look at me. Don't think she can. Just runs up the stairs after the little one. Mary has stopped singing now. Those, those homes, though, the, the sort Terry will get me to visit like a 
like a new school lad. Don't think I can stick them. Bit like choosing your own coffin, you see. Except it has a lounge and others in the hole with you. All huddling together, waiting to die. 92. So that's over 70 years I spent living in Abel. Now look at me. Broken on my own bloody doorstep. Been round the world three times over and not come back with more than some dodge tum. <laughs> Funny how life treats you. The, the front door is still open. I can, I can just see them opposite. Gawking from the upstairs window. <laughs> I hope it's a good show for them. Bit of help wouldn't go amiss, though. I wish they could feel this. But they can't. Wouldn't want to, neither. This hurts so much. Why? Why would they do this to an old fella like me? Well, easy target, really. <laughs> Quick reply from the tiny awake piece of me brain. Uh, hold on. Hold on, what's that? It's uh, at the end of me path. Come on, come on, eyes, focus. Don't you go on me and all. Is that is that a wheel? A push bike. Yeah, yeah, one of one of them kids uh, right up and down here with with <laughs> at last some help. Young lad, can't be can't be more old than Jimmy Terry's lad. Oh, he's bound to have a phone. They all have phones, you see. One of them, you know, clever ones. <laughs> Seen them up the high street staring at them. Their world in a little black box. <laughs> Suppose police will be here soon. Here he comes. C careful now, son. They're still here. He's cautious. You don't touch a bit of trash. He's, he's knelt beside me now. He's, he's looking in me eyes. He says nothing. Takes me hand. Bit of comfort. That's right, bit of comfort. Nice to have, but... You mind yourself, kid. I don't, I don't want you. What's that? He's trying my ring. That's, that's Mary's wedding band. They ain't noticed it, but, but he did. He's trying to get it off. But, but that that's all I've got. I mean, I try to stop him, but it's, it's no good. It's just a thing, she'd say. But she's not the one left behind without our else. Don't take that, please, son. Anything else but that. Well, he's, he's got it now. I want to shout, but this broke carcass of mine can only warble a tearful whine. I think he's sorry. His eyes look sorry, you see. He's still backing out the door carefully. <laughs> you go careful, son. Go careful. Be wary, all right? Out the door and up the path. He stands and looks for a second at me. There's, there's no going back, lad. That's it. For both of us. Suppose it's, it's time to move on anyhow. Memories seem to go mouldy in here. He's on that bike and, and off. 
An odd moment too soon as, as here's the old Bill running after him. One goes full steam. Another comes here. Pretty lass up the path. Straight through the rubbish. She stops at me. She's saying words, but, but I can't hear her. She holds me hand. There's that proper comfort. Yeah. I can hear Mary again.